Hi, brothers and sisters. Um, I just want to share a dream I had with you. But before I talk about my dream, I want to quickly talk about this fast fasting period I'm having. Um, I've seen many other brothers and sisters, fa sisters fasting, and I've decided that I had to do that as well. I've had um, really deep into my soul that it was very important for me to do a fast uh, as a means of purification and uh, yeah, just consecrating myself to the Lord. Uh, and I have to tell you, it's been the, a very hard time for me since you know I've truly become a Christian because I've known Christ since I was 11. But since 2012, I've truly become a Christian. I, I can say and really trying to fight against sin and um, really devote myself to God. Anyway, uh, I've been having many spiritual attacks and people really not understanding and attacking me. That has been happening for a long time, but it is happening right now in my house with my husband attacking me and uh, saying that I have become a negative person uh, because I'm talking about the news around the world and they don't seem to be positive. He even told me yesterday that he doesn't want to hear me talking about God anymore. So I'll respect his will and just pray for his soul, you know. That's exactly how it is uh, in the, the time of darkness. You as a light, you expose the light, and it, it sounds like a negative thing for unbelievers because they just cannot cope with, with the truth that we live in a decaying world that is... Um, the kingdom of Satan, basically, and you're fighting against that. And when you shed the light on the darkness, people people think you're becoming negative, but you want to let them know that there is light, there is hope. And when you explain their hope and their light, many just don't want to accept it. It's just incredible. And my husband's one of these people, so it's been very hard. And anyway, uh, I've started my fasting on the 11th of January. Uh, I just want a revelation from God and a real true connection with Him. And whatever it takes, I have to say. Anyway, uh, the dream I had from the Lord was on the 20th, on the 20th of January. So it goes like this. Sorry, my daughter is here. That's why the little voice in the background. Anyway, uh, my dream goes like this. I was standing in the balcony of an old house I lived at with some people. I called one of them to watch the glowing orbs frantically moving around. As I told everyone to get into the house, these orbs approached with the speed of light. They were just floating on the sky and they just approached very quickly when I told everyone to get in. And there it was in front of me, a very oppressive, invisible, dark energy. It grabbed me and I started to float with it. I held on the wall of the balcony, real frightened. And from the depths of my being, I rebuked it in the name of Jesus. Then this energy, defiant, it stood in front of me and I could feel its hatred towards me. I then ran inside the house and we all hid in the apartment's uh, bathroom. Then I could see the lights of what it looked like a helicopter it started to shoot us it was uh, sort of floating uh, on the building in front of the building where it was just like a movie and it started shooting at us uh, with its gun machines I was so frightened for my family and and then after that I woke up um, I don't know what it is uh, I don't know if it's the great deception we we literally be people who will be possessed by the devil and its unclean spirits will will start you know just doing everything that we can reading revelations or if the great deception is going to be man made uh, I don't know if any of you guys heard of Project Blue Bing of holographic images we just had the Turkish Prime Minister present his speech uh, in a giant hologram of himself in the skies in Turkey. And it seems that the alien agenda thing is more and more evident in symbolisms and uh, movies and, you know, everything like that. 
just terrifying, whatever it may be, we must be awakened to the truth um, and sort of think, you know, what the different possibilities, anything that goes against what Christ said, any fake, any rapture that happens that goes against Matthew, Matthew 24, which is what Jesus said it would happen, it is not of Jesus, okay? So, if there is a rapture and these people come back with some guy that looks like Jesus and they, they create this crazy one world religion that, you know, it goes against what Jesus said and just encompasses all the other religions like we've seen with the movement of Chrislam. If anything goes against Matthew 24, which are the words of Jesus, it is not of God. We must pray every day that we are not deceived we must pray every day that we are from the Church of Philadelphia. We must pray every day that the few, uh, it says in Revelations, that a few people will survive and many will die. Pray every day that you and your family are the ones who survive, are the ones who will see miracles, that God will provide food for them, will provide water from a rock, whatever it may be. Pray that you are part from one of these people. Believe that God can provide to you even in the most dark times. And please, read Matthew 24. Do not give up. Do not listen to dates settling. And uh, if you are a very devout Christian, a person that really does everything for God, and some crazy rapture happens, and, and aliens are, are told to be raptured, and I don't know, for some reason, they are the ones with the light or whatever, this is man-made crap. This is new age religion. This has nothing to do with the Most High God. Please pray that you enlighten and you will not deceive in Jesus' name. Anyway, that's uh, my message for today. I hope that God keeps speaking to me and as He does, I'll you know, pass it on. And as everything, please go to God in the name of Jesus and ask for confirmation. Don't trust my words. I'm a mere human being. I've been having a lot of dreams with drones and aliens and all this, you know. And I know they are from God, okay, because I pray for them. And I've had many other things that I haven't shared because I, I wasn't sure if it was just my mind or God. But those things I'm sure. And, yeah, I just would like you to do the same. Just ask for confirmation from God himself in Jesus' name. I hope you all have a great week and remain faithful. I still have another 20 days of fasting. And yeah, I take it. Whatever challenge comes my way, I will take it. Okay? And I'm sure I'm going to learn French. Anyway, I hope you all have a great week. Bye-bye.